That is awesome. Okay, I call this meeting the Prosper Independent School District to order. Let the record show that a quorum of board members is present. This meeting has been duly called. Notice this meeting has been posted in accordance with Texas Open Meetings Act, Texas Government Code, Chapter 551. JB, would you? Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to gather tonight. We thank you for the opportunity we have to participate in the education of the children of our community. We're grateful for uh, the blessing to see them develop and to grow and to prosper. And Father, we ask that your hand would continue to be on them as that progresses. I pray that you would guide the teachers and administrators and staff and give them courage, give them strength, give them fortitude, particularly as the, as the year ends today. Father, I pray, that, or that ends this week. I pray, Lord, that you would watch over them and keep them safe that you would command your angels concerning them, that they would be, uh, they would be safe through this time. Father, we, we remember today also Officer Turner, and we're thankful for, for his service. And, Lord, we grieve with that family and uh, those that served with him. We're thankful for, for his commitment to the district and protection of, of the assets that we love the most, those kids. And, Father, I just pray that you would comfort that family and give them peace that they don't even understand. I pray that you would give us wisdom and discernment tonight as we go through the items on this agenda that you would guide our thoughts and our words and our actions, and uh, that you would superintend the whole process. We pray all this in your son's name. Amen. Amen. Ms. Jim, who would join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have had in front of you the minutes from the last meeting. Any questions or comments on the minutes? On item C, you need to adjust that to include the name of Dina Buenostro. So we need to add that name to the minutes. This was uh, a special meeting we had to canvas the election returns that you can see up there. Certainly appreciate uh, both gentlemen, uh, all three gentlemen, uh, putting their name in, willingness to serve uh, our great community. There. Um, enrollment. Four sixty-five. That was the demographer last week. Uh, that's going to be uh, pushing fifteen thousand next year. So that's really not a surprise, I guess. Just uh, we grew up there, there over the last five years. Uh, we grew one hundred and twenty percent. I think the next closest one was like twenty-eight. Or something like that. Something, something ri ridiculous. And then you can see all the photos of the projects we have going on. Boyer Elementary, all on schedule. Spradley uh, to uh, Boyer and Spradley to open in in August. Boyer will be fun and exciting for about six months, and then they'll blow up Frontier. Parkway, and then we'll have to airlift students to that school. <laughs> <laughs> see uh, Hayes Middle School moving along. Only way to really recognize that from uh, Rock.
Fox Hill Road, as you're looking south, is to look for a big crane over there. That's you really won't can see much from Rock Hill at that point. Hillcrest has not punched all the way through yet. To that, that's to open it again in 2019. down I think the cost of that concrete I think it's like gold plated concrete uh, <laughs> based on uh, those but it's starting to take shape of something that's the, yeah we have a hole dug out for the natatorium <laughs> that's about where we are right now but you can see where that's going to go in the uh, south east corner of the stadium site I believe uh, see I told you a hole we're not pouring concrete for that. We're just going to fill it full of water and <laughs> uh, good to go. <laughs> and then we'll be set. That's it. Okay, it's action item, consent agenda. I move to approve the consent agenda with the change to the minutes. Thank you, Jim. Second. Thanks, Mays. All in favor? The, uh, the 400 pages of handbooks were sent to you earlier. Uh, <laughs> tried to highlight on the front end of that uh, what changes uh, campuses wanted to make uh, regarding uh, a handful of things. Most of it was legal cleanup of language. Didn't know if anything jumped out at you in terms of uh, wanting to give further explanation on anything uh, in the student code of conduct as far as that goes. <coughs> the handbooks and student code of conduct for 1819 as presented. Approve the handbooks as presented. Thanks, John. I second. Judge Smith, all in favor? I'm just going to discuss the highlights. We'll go through these uh, charts pretty quickly. Uh, we'll discuss this for the first one with the investment summary. Uh, the package that I send you uh, is not presented here, but I just want to give you some of the interest rates because the interest rates are going up uh, on our investment funds. Text pool, the very first one here, uh, their, their rate's 1.67. Lone Star, 1.65, Independent, the next one, which is our uh, bank that we use for most of our check clearing, and that's 1.31. And Legacy and Farmers is the uh, last two. Legacy is 1.78, and Farmers is 1.72. So about a year ago, I believe the rates were uh, less than 0.75, so they've gone up a whole 100 basis points in a year. Just so to give you some uh, encouragement on our investment there. The next slide is our investment summary by funds. As you can see in our general fund, <clears throat> we're still above where we were last year at this time. Uh, from 111, I think it's about 25% 20, increase from last year. Uh, that includes that $10 million in hardship account. Uh, the other one, as you can see, uh, increase in this past month with the $200 million uh, proceeds from the bond sale. We received that during April. And if you'll notice, uh, a year ago, we, had, we have spent almost $95 million in the last 12 months <coughs> in our bond funds. And that's just with those two elementaries, the middle school and the initial. So uh, with this additional $200 million, we'll probably spend close to double that or, or almost 200 million a year from now with all the high school projects, stadium, and the uh, two new elementaries coming on. So Does that go back up for a second? That's percentage increase? Uh, the total increase from the from the total investment. I'm looking at right, that right window. Up there at 59.7%. That includes that $200 million increase from the That's what you had decreased that number. Sure. Sure oh, thank you. Okay. I'll check that. Thank you very much. The month before that decrease. 
Okay, total operating revenue. Uh, you see that we've gone up uh, from 62 million last year to 78 million this year. We're right on board where we need to be. Uh, total revenue is 23.7% increase from the prior year. Total revenue comparison, as you can see, we're just exactly where we were a year ago compared to our total budget. Uh, so we've collected almost 97% of our current budget and we still have four months remaining. And we'll probably collect most of that from our uh, state funding in the next two months. We usually catch up in August. This shows you our current tax collections by month. <clears throat> As you can see, the, um, the graph is uh, exactly like we were a year ago. Nothing changes in our collections. Uh, this shows you our rollback tax collections. And again, uh, we've only collected uh, $1.3 million in rollback this year compared to $5.5 million last year. Operating expenses are going uh, uh, as, as planned. Uh, about an $8 million increase in payroll. Uh, total increase in expenditures from last year is about 15%. This shows you the comparison based on budget. As you can see, payroll this year is 86%. Last year was 86% compared to total, re total budget expenditures. Very, very similar. The only change you'll see is in the Chapter 41 recapture. This year we spent over 1%, last year at this time it was less than 1%, so that other than that, not much changes in total expenditures. Now this uh, slide will show you expenses by functions. As you see on the very bottom, uh, the, the bottom two uh, is in instructional and in instructional support. And as you can see, that's mostly our teachers and all the departments that support uh, the campuses. Uh, we are right where we want to be. Uh, in fact, our instructions are a little bit higher than uh, we were th a year ago, but everything else is less uh, this year is, is less than compared to last year. Food service uh, fund is, uh, is doing great. Uh, right now we're at a 20% increase in cash flow. Uh, the net uh, cash flow for this year is 457 and uh, this time last year was 376. Debt service, uh, we've uh, uh, collected um, over $32 million in revenue this year. Our budget was 31.2 and we have one remaining payment that will be in August and that will get us up to $27 million. Athletic fund is a uh, 14% increase from the prior year, and it's doing exactly where it should be. Uh, this is the um, expenses for last bond, $125 million. Uh, we still have $34 million left of that uh, bond left, uh, just to give you an idea. But out of that $125 plus we add extra from the prior year's bond, but we've spent almost $100 million in the last 12, 13 months. This shows you uh, the status where Bo Boyer Elementary is, and there's 33% left in the construction costs, and it shows you the other costs as well. Total costs through April, $16 million. And this shows you Spradley, which the addition of the uh, gym uh, is 19 million spent through the same time. I'll speed through this. Middle School Hayes, uh, Actual cost is now up to 14.5. And we've added the uh, stadium cost as well. As you can see, we in the last two or three months, we've spent almost $9 million total, um, both in construction and uh, architectural fees. Any questions? Rusty, any questions for Rusty, comments? Some action item? I have a motion to approve the bond. Very well, second. Thanks, Mays, all in favor?
nourishing and speak to any of that that's basically just on schedule of a replacement of aged equipment that's what happens with technology protocol for most people I mean they it's we recycle that uh, the question is what uh, what do we do with uh, outdated equipment we auction off what we can and salvage scavenge the rest and See the cost of all the other. It looks like you can spend over two hundred fifty grand. Yeah, those. That, that's the big ticket items, which you can see in that two hundred one, that one ninety two, and that seven fifty seven. There, going back here, that's uh, where that. And that's for you and the whole Hatch Basin Four with the new construction equipment. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the big, the biggest one. Possibility for so it would be that plus 45.7, which is uh, a food truck, and have that uh, at the high school. Really, it's for the district, so we can use that in a variety of functions and everything else. But it's going to uh, help us uh, spread the the masses of high school and and feed them differently and everything else. So it's and at the same time give us. Uh, the capability in, at various functions across the district to be able to, to use that as well. So it's that number is 45,700 that would be added to that. Yes, sir. It might, I mean, depending on how we want to use it, it might be like. Mondays at Reynolds, Tuesdays at Rogers, and Wednesday through Friday at PHS. And if, or we'll go all every day at PHS and just do evenings if we want to set it as a different concession or whatever for other activities. Different version of tailgate. during lunch, which we are, SFE will operate it. They'll man it. It's part of that. But it's our, it's our uh, uh, vehicle, if you will. So those numbers Those that are listed, that's uh, 228, uh, 1.350, and 45.7 for the capital uh, equipment items for the 18 19 school year. So it'd be that one. And, and that's the invoice you're going to bill it to the local IT. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> so bill it to them. <laughs> Ship it to us. <laughs> Thank y'all. Yeah. Ship it to us. Whoever yeah. worked this deal. They've got lots of old money there, right? 1624. So. Okay. 
dollar total amount is one point six three one million six hundred thirty four thousand one hundred forty two dollars. Sorry, was that a motion? Yeah. Perfect. Question or comment? I was just going to say that would be 1350 plus 45 and 228. That dollar figure. Oh, yeah, the surplus that we have in the fee. Go towards <laughs> the food surplus. Well, you know, we have to use whatever surplus. Uh, to that point, whatever we have in food service has to go to food service food related service. expenditure. Back right. yeah. So, yeah, service. That into the trust. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Second, all in favor? Good, well done. Fuel. Two different items, one for diesel and the other for propane. The recommendation uh, for propane is Northwest. See there. Are they still helping the town with this? Mm -hmm. They still fuel at our pumps. It's getting more of a challenge because of the growth of both, right. but it's still happening. Yes, sir. They still get the discounted uh, rates through us. Hmm. And then here's the uh, diesel, and that's going with. Uh, Staying with Douglas Distributing, yes. I'm going to say daily. Uh, where's Mr. Wolverton? Uh, buses have to be refueled. How often? Is that depends on the routing and everything yeah, else. Route, it's a short route. It probably can go a few days. Obviously, it continues to be a good investment on the propane side. That's why we continue to go down that path. Is that a motion on B as presented? As presented. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion on this? Perfect. All in favor? Okay. This is a small item. Dr. Bradley uh, charged them with coming under 200 million and they shattered it. <laughs> so, uh, take it away, Dr. Bradley. We've whittled it down to this price. It was originally just $30,000 under 200 million. Uh, but we do have the uh, whole team here tonight, so. Uh, Pogues representatives, Huckabee as well, and then of course our uh, construction crew, Mr. Tony, and then also Mr. Ellidge, who's uh, joined us in the construction department, have uh, worked hard on this. And uh, so uh, I, I'm the, the least important guy on this. They have been working at it. I want to remind you that from what you saw tonight, we have about $200 million worth of construction going on right now. And then asking, of course, for your approval to double that uh, here with one vote. Uh, and so um, the, the only things that I wanted to point out, and then certainly uh, if we have any questions or if uh, Mr. Pogue or any of them want to speak to you or you want to hear from them, uh, just a couple of important things. Uh, I know we've heard multiple times that compared to our, our previous high school even, you know, I mean, how much did our previous high school cost? And it's 10, year, 10 years ago now. It's hard to think uh, about that, but it was 10 years ago. And, and uh, inflation has been tracking about 6% a year, and so you, you see that going up. Uh, but also in this uh, price, I didn't want it to be lost that the transportation facility is contained in this as well. So that $199 million has about $5 million for the structure and then a couple other million dollars for the concrete and all the stuff that goes in the fueling facility. So we will be able to fuel buses uh, there. Uh, it won't be as big a shop as what we have here at, at uh, on site, but it will pretty much have the capability to do what we need to do for buses on the south side of the district. And so that's not a small ticket item, uh, seven or eight million dollars in there for that. And then um, also wanted to uh, uh, throw in that your contingencies in a project this large are quite big. Uh, you know, so it's, you normally don't see, or we haven't seen projects with $4 million contingencies, but when you're doing a $200 million project, you you uh, have to uh, account for that. And so we, 
we certainly have built healthy contingencies in there. Hopefully we don't have to, to utilize them, but they are there. Uh, and uh, as we talked uh, previously, we have uh, worked through that developer's agreement you approved with the city of Frisco. Uh, the scope of work here is quite large and we're dependent on a lot of moving factors uh, with Coit Road and, and all of that stuff coming about. But you've seen the dirt being stockpiled up there and uh, I, um, Pogue has been uh, asking me, when can we start, when can we start, when can we start? And so uh, uh, we're ready to go uh, on this project because it is a full 24 month uh, project. And then on top of that, just the install of the furniture is a, probably a month and a half to two month job uh, because you're talking about again, over 600,000 square feet. And so uh, it's a massive project. Uh, I believe it is the, the largest project uh, Pogue uh, has undertaken both square footage and dollar amount. Uh, and so we know they're equipped to handle it, but it is a huge project. And uh, so we present it to you tonight and be happy to try to answer any questions or, or I'll let them answer any questions that, that you have about it. It costs this much, it better look like it costs this much. <laughs> I believe um, Huckabee is taking care of that. Um, Huckabee, by the way, opened a new Prosper office. Um, they put it in Plano. <laughs> but it's a prosper office. Yeah. And uh, so uh, uh, they're really close now. Uh, so Josh is just right around the corner and Joe as well. They both uh, reside here. And so uh, uh, they're on call, but I, I do think uh, certainly the video you've seen uh, was impressive in and of itself, but uh, just uh, uh, it's, it's still been fun to work with some different aspects of this. Uh, I do want you to know that uh, thanks to the city of Frisco, it is gonna look like a forest on this site uh, because they do love trees and uh, we are having to take out Unfortunately, a couple of those older trees that are there, some big oaks that are right there around the old home place that is in the front of that property. But trust me, we have <laughs> accounted for the trees uh, in this project. Is that a motion, Ms. Smith? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Thank as you. long as it stays under. Thank you, Mays. All in favor? Does that include all the instruments we're just going to have to burn while that's all in? So all, all except there's a, the, you have previously approved about $3.8 million. That was the off-site sewer project. So this price includes everything that's on the property we own. What you approved previously is everything to get that sewer line from Preston to, so get reimbursed for and we get sewer. reimbursed, we will get reimbursed about forty-five percent of that, I think, from the city of Frisco. And that's a again. I, I think you mentioned it last month. That's not over a ten-year period as it's developed out. Right. That would cut us a check yeah, for that. that. I don't yes, know if I that. we agreed to do that. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Exciting. Bradley. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So the moral of that story is is overkill. It is. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Failure. Semantics. Okay, we got the turf at PHS football soccer field. That's probably the most used field we have. Now, Didn't probably we it just is. Do that? Uh, that was oh, at uh, Stadium and Rice. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So I think um, one of the things that this new turf will include that uh, we went back and retrofit on the other, these, um, they now have what they call, some call it an E-layer, but there's a protective layer that goes between the subsurface and the turf. And uh, that's supposed to help with uh, what's called the G-Max rating, which is a concussion rating. Uh, and so that will go into, we don't have that currently on this turf at PHS. And so this new turf will have that. The also, also the thing about that is that um, the turf, you know, most of them have about an eight year warranty on the actual turf, but the warranties on the this layer is 16 years. So the idea is that you shouldn't have to replace that at least every two times you're redoing the turf. And so 
Um, we, we're retrofitting the fields that don't have that, uh, but we're getting pretty quickly all the fields, and moving forward, all fields will have that. You know. what's, what's the amount on that? Why it's uh, 481, 481, 761. Awarded to Paragon. Paragon. Thank you. Any further discussion, comments, questions? Thank you. All in favor? That's what I'm saying. Need a motion. Yeah. Executive session. Thank you. I second. All in favor? Okay. Oh, wait. I'm not here last. Doors high, Ma. We're going to an executive session. <laughs> Break it. Breaking stuff already. It's not in the packet. Fine arts. I'll get it. We'll have, we, have, we need to add even more money, but we'll do that after exactly. The fine arts, all the instruments. That's another big chunk of money. Okay. 